try a Cajun meat pie. Cheers. Cheers. That's so good. Yeah, that is good. It's speaking to me. This is how we do a Texas tailgate. We are here at the University of Texas, and look who I found. It's our very own United States Olympian, Gabby Thomas, and a UT alum. So you did your undergrad at Harvard, um, your master's here at UT. How do the game day experiences compare? Oh my gosh, the energy here is like tenfold. Like I love Harvard, that's my alma mater. But being here in this energy, in this atmosphere is so much fun. Yeah. What's the best part about living in Austin? Probably the vibes, like everyone is so fun. It's such a community. I feel like this community has really embraced me and that's why I'm like, go Longhorns. So I have to ask you um, about the Olympics, right? Because like not every day I get to talk to an Olympian. So. 2028 LA, is that on the radar? Oh, absolutely. You gotta finish it out like at home here in America. Yes. Yeah. So what's the training for that look like? So we actually have world championships next year and then we have an off year and then we're gonna gear up for the Olympics. And same thing, like I'm gonna keep doing what I've been doing. It's been working and it's Monday through Friday, just put in work. Who's your GOAT Olympian athlete? GOAT Olympian athlete, Simone Biles. She's kind of left the door open for a 2028 run. She what do you has. think that would look like? She has. I mean, I think Simone could literally do anything she wants because she is the GOAT. Yeah. But I also wouldn't blame her for like settling down and moving on with her life and like just living her best life. I feel like the Olympic Village is so mysterious. What's one thing that people would be surprised to know about the Olympic Village? I feel like people would be surprised to know that like we're Olympic athletes, but we're having so much fun in the village. Like people are like eating desserts. People are like hanging out late. Like we're having such a good time and like it's just not this super strict, disciplined like vibe that you would expect. The chocolate muffins or something yes. went super viral. Yeah. All right, mom. One bite review. This, this is not a muffin. This is cake. <laughs> <laughs> they were scarfing those muffins down in the village. Like I would try to get some, and they were like sold out because people were scarfing them down, and they were so good. Favorite tailgating food? Ooh. Um. I don't get to tailgate that often, but anything fried, anything, anything fried. fried? Okay. Anything. Well, we are in the yeah. South, I guess, so. Um, okay, we are gonna go in the tailgates and maybe eat some fried food and drink a little, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I'll see. What do we got here? So we're gonna try a Cajun meat pie. It's the I've never had that, is that Southern? It is Southern, and it's a delicacy, and it's fried, and that's the most important thing. So fried. A so Cajun meat pie. I'm not. What kind of what kind of meat is in here? I'm gonna assume it's like beef. Cheers. Cheers. To the meat pie. That's so good. Yeah, that is good. It's speaking to me. This is how we do a Texas tailgate. Nothing like a meat pie. If the Olympics were to add a new city, where should it be? If they had to add a new city, honestly, I would have them do it right here in Austin. You have the fans. You have like awesome people, great weather. Let's do it here. You're very active on social media. We see the TikToks. We love the TikToks. What's uh, one social media trend that you're really into these days? Ooh, I'm really into um, this in the club thing oh, that I did I today. That. I did that today with Vince Young. Do you know them? No. But in the club, we all fam. What? In the club, we all fam. I don't. In the club, we are all family. Are you racist? In the club, we're all fam. And see, that's the vibe here. Who's one person on social media that you would like to collab with? Ooh, a great question. I would love to collab with, um, there's this TikToker, he's corporate batty. I love him, follow him. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the volunteer work that you do here in Austin. Yes, yeah, so I finished with my master's in public health here at UT in 2023, and now I volunteer at a healthcare clinic, and it provides healthcare to people who otherwise wouldn't have it. So people who don't have access to quality healthcare or who don't have health insurance. That's amazing. Why is that so important to you? I mean, it's really important to me just because I feel like everyone should have access to healthcare, and health equity is something that I'm really passionate about, especially with like health inequity and racial demographics and racial disparities. Such a small thing can make a big difference. Like we're, we're keeping up with them. We have a close relationship with them. We're helping them have transportation. We're educating them um, and just giving them access. And it's just really small things, but they make a big difference and go a long way.